Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am at my mom's house, my mom and dad's, and I am filming their Christmas house tour. So I did this during the fall, where I did my fall home tour, and then I came over and filmed hers, since her decor is really similar to mine. So I thought I would do it again for Christmas upon your guys' request. So I'm bringing this one to you. She let me film again, and I'm really excited. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of her living rooms, kitchen, dining room area. That's what she decorates for Christmas. So I'm going to show you all of those things. She has a real farmhouse, rustic inspired taste. I know you guys are going to love it. So if you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite piece of decor that you see during this video. And I will have everything linked down below that I can find if it is out this year. I'm not sure how much I can actually link, but I will at least try to tell you where everything is from. If I don't mention it, just comment below and ask where it's from and I can ask her and let you guys know. So let's jump in to this Christmas house tour. Colt got to come over for this occasion as well. We are actually baking fudge after this. So it's gonna be a really fun day. I'm really excited to bake some fudge. So when you first walk into their living room, this is their family room. She has this shiplap wall right here. So she loves to decorate this wall. I absolutely love it. They just got a new TV. So this is their old TV. They just moved in here and they have a fireplace. It's so cozy. But you may see a lot of the same stuff from my house because like I said, we have very similar styles, but just starting in here. So when you first walk in the door, you have this snowman sign and I have this exact same sign. A lady from our church made them for us last year and my mom got it for me as a gift and she got one for herself too. I think they are adorable and it's super tall. It's probably, I would say five feet tall. So a really fun piece to bring out every single year. And then she has this H sign that she got from Hobby Lobby. Moving on next to the fireplace, she has two identical trees that are flocked and they are kind of like sparse trees. I have these exact same ones on either side of my hot chocolate stand. So if you guys seen my Christmas home tour, which I will have linked in the description down below if you wanna check it out, but I have these exact same trees. But if you look, she's tied on buffalo check ribbon all throughout it. So super cute, I love the trees. And then moving on to the fireplace mantle, she has this gorgeous piece of greenery. It's just pine needles and pine cones with light strung around it. I love it so much. I think it's so cozy. And then there is the other tree on the other side. Colt's wanting to come in, so I'm gonna let him in real quick. Okay, come on. Good boy, good boy. All right. Okay, and then over in this corner, she has got a nine foot tree and she just got it this year. I think she got it from Lowe's, but she got a really good deal on it. I think it was under $200. And then she used some red tulle for the tree skirt. That's exactly what I did with mine. It's a cheap way to make a tree skirt. And you know, by the time you get presents underneath it, you're not gonna see it anyway. So I love putting that as the tree skirt. And then she has got a couple of elves. She's had those since we were kids. And this is the kid tree, as they like to call it, because we have like all of our fun ornaments from whenever we were kids on there. Um, there's one from my brother when he was little, 2005. Um, and then one from me whenever I played softball. A picture of my brother whenever he was little, how sweet. And then here is Brooks's ornament for this year. It's the new Grinch. If you guys didn't see that on my Instagram, we went and seen the Grinch and Brooks loved it. It was so cute. So just a lot of fun ornaments on this tree. Here's another one of my brother. There's one of me whenever I was little. That was our old church that we used to go to. There's one that we colored. I'm not sure which one did. 
looks like it was Kyle. He wrote something to them. Oh, that's so sweet. And then, let's see, that one's from 1995. It's the year I was born. There's a four-wheeler for my brother. <laughs> These little spoons. I was a crafty child. I loved to be at home and like make little crafts. A cheerleading one, a little angel. This one is super old. It's a little book. How cute is that? I love that she keeps these. Oh, here was another favorite one of mine. Pillsbury Doughboy with cookies. I love it. Some bells. Looks like it was made with like some little pipe cleaners. And then here's a stocking of all of us. <laughs> my mom, dad, me, my brother. A Bob the Builder. That was Kyle's favorite show. And then this was my ballerina. My aunt actually got this for me. If you pull on it, she actually like plies. Very sweet. And a Woody. Oh, it's a Woody and Buzz. My brother loved Toy Story. And so it's funny that Brooks likes it so much too. She also has a Merry Christmas like little garland on it. So yeah, this is just a fun memory tree. And then on the top, she has used a bunch of pics, a bunch of colorful pics. Very whimsical, I love it. So then moving on to the rest of their room, I don't know if you can see because I'm right in front of the windows, but she has garland above each of the windows. And then in her um, little windmill, I think that's what it's called, She's got a wreath with an H on there. And then along this wall back here, she's just got a big clock that she always has up. It's her magnolia clock. And in this corner, this is so cute, she has a bunch of snowmen and this huge joy sign. I don't know where she got that joy sign at, but these snowmen are probably like 15 years old. I love them. Brooks loves them too. He thinks they're like his little friends. <laughs> and that one's like riding a train. And then this is the best part. I love this. So it's a little ice skating rink that is set up and it's got like lanterns and a bridge and little ice skaters. She's had this since we were little and I used to look forward to getting it out every single year. I love this. So fun. There's a little man sitting on a bench. It's the cutest thing ever. Brooks loves it too. So that's this little corner. On the coffee table, she just has a little tree with some like, it looks like snowball garland and it has holly berries on it and then a little sign that says home. And then whenever you first walk into the door, she's got a church pew and she just has some garland like laying on it with a welcome pillow and a little sign over that that she has up all year round. And then I'll take you through these doors and show you the rest of the house. Okay, walking into the main living area, I'll give you a little preview of what it looks like before I break it all down. How cozy and beautiful is that? I just love it. I love their house so much. It's so cozy. Okay, so when you first walk in to this area, she's got a couple decorations over here. Um, she has this wooden H sign. I also have this in a C. Um, we got it together at Kirkland. So she has hers up on the other side of her pantry. And then she has this joy sign. And I think she got this at a craft fair last year. And there's also a little sled. Brooks loves to climb on this. So she's got those three pieces right there. And then when you walk in the front door, she's got her little entryway. And a lot of it hasn't changed since fall, but it's definitely like all changed up with the decor. So she's got some fur throw blankets um, on some ladders and she has like the buffalo check theme still going and then over here she's got her nativity scene it's just just on some wooden blocks it's beautiful i love that 
and then her sign right above it. I'll give you guys an overview of the nativity scene. But I think this is so pretty and I love that it's right when you first walk in the door and it shows the true meaning of Christmas. For the front door, she's just got her rug and um, a couple of little trees. So I love these trees. I love the bottoms of them. Is that not so neat? I don't know where she got these, but the sled is from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And then she has some buffalo check ribbon on there and some lights. And then up here, she has a Merry Christmas sign. That is from Hobby Lobby this year. You guys probably seen it. And then above the window, she has garland and berries and pine cones. It's really pretty. I don't, the camera doesn't do it justice. And then over here, she has her tree and her fireplace all decorated. So I'm gonna go in here and show you guys this tree. So this tree is the same one that I have in my house. It is a nine foot tree from Hobby Lobby. And we fell in love with it because it has different types of pine needles. It's got like thinner ones and then your regular. But she did a black and red buffalo check themed. And she's got a lot of the red trucks. She has a lot of cotton um, and tin things. And I love these. These were new this year. Just little like twine, pieces of twine with holly sticking out. And then this like rustic looking bell, really pretty. And then towards the top, she didn't do a star. She just has picks up there and cotton and very pretty. It's mainly just red and burlap and the buffalo check. And then her tree skirt is from Hobby Lobby as well. And the box is also from Hobby Lobby. And then the little snowman with a buffalo check. I'm not sure where she got that. It's really cute though. Oh, I love this lantern too. It's very pretty and rustic and I just love it. And then there's a Merry Christmas little garland in the front. So cute. So yeah, it's so pretty, so cozy. Like I said, I just love the feel that it gives this room. There's one of the dog's toys down there. And then I'll go ahead and show you their furniture. So they just got this furniture um, this month and I love it, it's so comfortable. I think it's a lazy boy couch and love seat. And then down here, she's got a little arrangement of some pine leaves and cotton and it says happy holidays. The sign is from hop or no, it's from the target dollar spot. And then on the end table, she has these big white lanterns with ornaments in it and a wreath on a black end table. And she has the same thing on this side as well. And then moving on to the fireplace, area this is my favorite part of the whole house my dad made these himself and he did such a good job so she's got all of our stockings up some black and white and some are like a sweater material you can probably hear the tv we've got christmas music playing but on top of the mantle she's got some antlers and some garland with the holly and the pine needles or the pine cones and then their fireplace and then over here she's got a snowman and then a little tree inside of a box I think that's so cute and then on this side of the um, little built-in cabinets she has got let's see if I can get it all the way up here I don't think I could reach but she's got two like plates up there this one, she's got her garland and a sign and a lantern. And then this one, she's got some plates and a candle and then some more garland and then the bottom. And on this side, this side of the fireplace, she's got a little lantern with some 
greenery wrapped around it with a candle and then some wood chips in there very cute and rustic and then this side is pretty much the same it's got two plates on top and then a really pretty christmas sign with a lantern and a candle and then down here she's got two plates and some reindeer and some pine cones and a little bucket and then the garland again so I love it. It looks so pretty and it's not like overdone. It's really cute. Moving on to the dining room, she has got the buffalo check theme going through the entire house. And um, on the table, she has a buffalo check runner, this three tiered stand. She has a welcome sign, a little red truck with some reindeer, and then a home sign. Love that. And then above the light, she even has some greenery. So that's really pretty. Moving over here, she has this really large window. I love the raw wood look. And then a wreath inside of there. I believe she got this at TJ Maxx, but I could be wrong. Um, but I think she got a really good deal on it. And then over here, she has a fun little gingerbread tree. The Merry Christmas little sign is from Hobby Lobby. The candy cane sign is from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And then all her little gingerbread men are sitting beside it. The Believe Tree Skirt is from the Target Dollar Spot. But I'll give you a close up of these gingers. I love this one. This one actually dances. Brooks loves it, it spins. <laughs> and then there's a bucket of snowballs. There's the tree skirt. And then these little gingerbread men, how cute are they? And then she has like these little gingers inside, like just placed throughout the tree. And she's got some other ones and like candy. These Hershey Kiss, like peppermint, chocolate. Candy canes are the best, they are so good. Those are my favorite as a kid. So pretty, I love all the picks and the fillers that she has on here. So there is the gingerbread tree for the kitchen. Love it. Okay, let me back up. And then above these windows, she has some more like greenery and a really pretty wreath. Again, you guys can't hardly see it. I hate that. It's so dark because it's shining right into the light. Maybe that's a little better. And she has a buffalo check ribbon on there. And above the door, she's got her cotton sign that she always has. Okay, and now moving on to the kitchen. So she has got some greenery above each light wrapped around there. And above all of the cabinets, she's got greenery and lights. It really makes it so festive, so. On the counter, she's got a little tree and a fr fresh baked good sign with a candle going. Bath and Body Works, of course. And then over here by the sink, she's got this gorgeous snowman in a tray that is so pretty. Over here, there's a little snowman like soap holder or sponge holder so cute that's from the target dollar spot over here on the countertop she has this hot chocolate mix so cute a little tree with red lights that's different and then a green truck green truck with some hershey kisses in the back and some chocolate hazelnut sticks i love the baby it's cold outside with next to the keurig that's so cute She's got some wooden sticks to stir for hot chocolate or coffee or whatever. Tis the season for hot chocolate. And then another truck with Hershey Kisses. And then we both got this little spoon holder. We thought it was so cute. It says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Over here, she has a picture of Brooks from last Christmas and her little KitchenAid mixer. And that is it. So super pretty. I love all of her decor. She decorates so good. 
so cute and so homey and warm and inviting. So I love her Christmas decor. All right, guys, and that is it for this Christmas home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot, um, so I hope I didn't go through it too fast, but I definitely wanted to get everything in. Like I said, if you have any questions where anything is from, just comment down below and I will get back to you with it. If you guys are loving this Christmas content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I would love to have you here, part of this family. I'm so appreciative of where my channel is going and how much it's growing. And I just love you guys so much and appreciate each and every single one of you. I'm going to be doing 12 days of Christmas starting December 13th where I will post a video every single day leading up to Christmas and then Christmas Day as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure you're subscribed and turn the bell notification on so you know every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Where's Mimi? Is she outside? <laughs> the wise men. What do you think of that? Is that a little ice skating rink? This used to be my favorite thing ever whenever I was a kid. Mm -hmm.